Got that thing glued up good as I can and going to piece this big figuring out which colors to use that's I'm clueless so I just got a bunch of blues and greens stuff I think will go together um, light blue medium blues and then um, the blue blood McCall blue and the beetle blue those are all very nice colors when mixed in with epoxy so that'll chop it up a little bit and I'm gonna be using because I got a feeling this is gonna take more epoxy than <laughs> I want to think about right now. Lemon Light Amazing Clear, one to one by volume. I'm thinking two liters will suffice. Please do not be more than this. Good Lord of mercy. Set this on slow first. Pacific Blue, the Beetle Blue, McCall Blue Green, Blue Blood, and Nocon. And due to lack of time of not knowing exactly how much this is going to take, we're going to go ahead and get that going. Y'all, this is huge. This is awesome. Alright, so I'm actually going to I mean, I've got to turn this thing a little bit and show you what's on the inside, but I can't leave it hanging like that. So, first is first, I've got to run a little bit of waste off because my mortise is already made in the epoxy. Mortise, a tenon, is already made in the epoxy. And before I put the mask on, mini Magellan with the angle, I mean the carbide on the tip. This thing's great.
Just a little bit of water, but I want you to look at this. I'm going to finish wet setting this thing tomorrow. It's kind of late at night. Just dive one in there. Look at that. Mm. So the next stage that I'm going to do before I flip the bottom over and finish it is I'm going to wet sand the inside and the outside. And then when I turn the bottom off, I can put this in the paper towels or um, rags like these to protect the outside and also wet sand above the bottom and be done with it. But this is the part that's really going to show the color. On with the show. We've got the inside and the outside of the rim, most of that buffed up. And I just got some blue painter's tape on here to prevent any scuffing, putting them in the jaws. I'm gonna buff it once I get it taken back out and get the bottom finished. I'll go ahead and buff it another time. But for now, just to kind of protect it, it's also on the inside part up here as well, just to kind of keep it from messing anything up. But what we've gotta do now is turn the tenon off. I'm gonna keep this on here as long as I can. Epoxy and these type deals. Ooh, sketchy. Lots of vibrations. But this is still the Black Star Bond. I got these bottles on Amazon because they have a metal tip and if they get clogged, all you have to do is light them with a little pocket lighter and squeeze them and it'll melt the CA glue in there and you squeeze it back and forth a few times to clear it. From what I'm looking at on my GoPro, this sucks. 
compared to what I'm actually looking at. There's just so much going on inside of this thing. It's just insane. And it's like that band looks like there's a light inside of there, but there's really not. And I realize now how much I need to get a better camera than this GoPro Hero 7 because there's so much color that I'm not even seeing on this screen. And it sucks. All right, I'm gonna get it out of here. This really is beautiful. Should I? 